Hi guys, so I thought today that I would do a, vi a changing video with one of the babies, but at first I was gonna make a coffee. So I thought I'd let you guys watch how that works and how the machine works. And we are going to make, a, I believe I was gonna do espresso, but I think I'm gonna do like a latte. Okay, so here is the coffee maker. And if you can see, this is a Crux brand. Well, I say coffee maker, but it is an espresso. And it's a 15 bar pump espresso maker. So we are first going to make our espresso and then I'll steam the milk. So we use this and this is a double shot. If you look, I'm not going to, I guess I won't take it out right now, but this is the single shot. So this is like a lot deeper inside. So we'll do a double shot. Oh, first we got to turn the side on here. That's, this light is red, but we have to, this, this stays out for the espresso and for the steamed milk. So out and when the light turns blue, it's ready to go. And I keep the coffee in just a container because it's hard to get it out of the bag. Brush the sides off. You guys can see here. And then we are going to lock it into place. So you put it this way, get it, make sure you feel, feel for it. See, I know now that it's in. And then I'm gonna turn this and it's tight. I bought these little cups from Amazon. They're cute, just enough. Some people like a really big latte, but you know, these are good if you just want the espresso also with no milk. Put it under, you see how the light turned to blue, came on. They tell you sometimes to wait a little, um, if you, you know, to get it even hotter. But for the video's sake, I'm not going to. I may sometimes, if I'm busy in the kitchen, then I'll let it go a little longer. So we're gonna turn this knob to the left. And I'm gonna show you guys how it comes out. I kind of want to make, we'll turn this a little. And I think what I'll do, wait, let me lower this. Okay. Ready, guys? Here goes. And as it starts to run sometimes a little clear, that's when they say to shut it, when it starts to run clear out of here. But I'm also shutting it because I need some room for the steamed milk. I probably went even a little too high, but anyways, um, so now we push this button in and we have to wait again for that to turn blue. And this is the steamer. So I already put my milk in here. I'm using 2%. You can use whatever you want. You can use almond. You can use lactose free. You can use whole milk, whatever you like. I suppose you can also maybe use a flavored creamer. Well, usually when I do my espressos or lattes like this kind, I just use sugar and some milk. But if I'm having like an iced coffee or regular coffee, then I will use like a flavored creamer. There's the light. There's the blue light. So now we're going to steam the milk. Move it around. Up and down a little. You can also bring it to the top to get more bubbles and then go deep down in it. Okay, so 
I didn't put my sugar in yet, so I want to do that. Okay, so what I think, okay, let's, um, I'm going to get it, put this up a little higher. So we'll add our sugar. Good teaspoon. Stir that in there. Try not to ruin the foam that's already been created. And now our frothy milk. Which I made a little accident there. See if it was directly frothy. We could froth a little more. It's because I let it sit a little. It started to go away. So I don't know how to make shapes. Sorry, guys. But anyways, look at that. It's dripping down the side. Oh, my goodness. now we're gonna try it okay guys so I'm gonna try this delicious deliciousness ah, so good look came out perfect mm. I like this one's decaf but I do like to make one of these if I'm having a migraine or a headache because the caffeine and the real espresso with caffeine is strong and it does help quick cheers so I hope you guys enjoyed this lesson on making an espresso latte whatever you like with the Crux espresso machine. Now, after this, we'll go to changing a bit. Let's see, what onesie should we put on? onesie and also well no I don't think we need socks because it's a one piece but here's where there are some socks so we've got to come up with a cute onesie that is a light color so possibly this one and what size is this okay so that's a small it's not Focusing on that. So I think we're going to use this one. Great. So here we have our little puck, which is also, I named him Aiden. And he is by Lillian Breedveld, poured by Claire Taylor. And we're going to get him dressed in a new outfit because he is still, as you can see, in a summer outfit. This poor little guy does not need to be so cold. The fall is here now. My goodness. But it was enjoyable to see the sculpting of this baby and enjoy his silicone and skin tone. So I was just thinking about how I've been kind of deciding, you know, to take a break from collecting, you know, buying and try to enjoy what I have. And so what I've been doing is 
you know, where I keep a lot of the babies, I told you before in previous videos, in the loft that I have. And so I've been going up there and bringing down babies that I haven't spent a lot of time with. And just um, bringing one down and sitting it on the bed and changing it. Not even making a video, but just changing it and then enjoying it because... You know, I've always noticed, too, if I bring one baby to, like, on a trip or something, I enjoy that one baby so much because that's all I have, you know. And when you have so many, you really are not enjoying them. I mean, I enjoy looking at them, but as far as, like, you know, holding them or changing them, you just, you don't do it. You're, you just place them somewhere and they sit there so... I'm going to, you know, try to do that more often and hold back on the collecting now. And, you know, I'm not going to say, because I say never say never. I mean, I did purchase a kit, so that's going to go up on the video soon. And we're going to show you what kit it is. So at some point that will have to be reborn. But yeah, I just want to feel right now content with what the collection is and to start enjoying what I have and because dolls that you haven't seen in a while it's nice to bring them back out and spend some time and it's like you're, you appreciate it you know you're experiencing it all over again and we all know that we love what we collect I'm over here guys trying to get a pamper we all love what we collect but it is kind of like after you've had so many and then you do get that new baby you kind of like after a few days or a week i think it's possible that you do tend to um you know like anything new the new wears off right i mean we still enjoy them and I still love them and I have ones that I will never sell or, you know, get rid of, obviously. So that I know for sure that I'm going to keep many of them forever. And again, whichever ones I don't, they will get passed to Gianna and she can decide what she wants to do with them or I possibly will save some for like future grandkids and uh, I'm gonna try to put this little diapy on him without showing any boy bits so yeah um the you know the situation of enjoying what we do have and i don't know should i put a little sake here guys i don't think i'm doing a good job but i don't know we'll see how this looks i'm almost like i almost don't want to do a good job because i remember before when we didn't have to hide all this and now we do and it's just like really difficult and it's like part of the artwork i don't know spink so yeah i'm going to start enjoying going upstairs getting one baby down at a time bringing them down changing them Spending, a, you know, like a week or so downstairs in my bedroom with me. And then going off and getting a new sculpt. And then enjoying that one. Because, you know, it's like a lot of things. You know, you get something and obviously the thrill. And then that wears off and... But, you know, when you are a collector and you are in this hobby, you can't really say never because that would be like if you collect, I'm not collect, but if you enjoy buying pocketbooks or shoes with styles changing and new seasons, you really can't say I'm never buying another pocketbook again. But in my whole heart, I truly hope 
that I don't for a while, a really long time. I hope that this feeling I have lasts for a while because I really have everything I could want in the collection unless an extraordinary kit comes out and actually one for me did come out and me and Gianna just opened that. Gianna and I opened it the other uh, last evening and so I'm going to upload that too so you guys can see uh, what kit that is. Sculpt. This is a first impression zero to three months with a little horsies on it those are little horsies and it's like i would say this is like a cream a cream color yeah which cream i love cream neutral color creams uh oatmeals whites off-white He doesn't need socks because his little piggy toes fit right in here. And now you're going to be warmed up. So, what else? Uh, yesterday was a very rainy day here in New England all day long, which was kind of nice though on a Sunday because, you know, you get a Sunday that's a rainy day. And it just gives you that permission to just cuddle up and just relax and watch a movie. And, you know, you don't feel that pressure of having to go out or get something done or do work or yard work. And so, yeah, it rained all day and it rained pretty heavy. It was pretty heavy. And I know some places like Utah... And Canada already have their snow. Well, they've already had some. I'm sure it's going to melt. And they're going to get more. I don't know how quick it melts right now up there. So this is cute. This was a side snap, which I love. And it's got the teddy bear on it, the horse, the little pony, we'll call it a little horsey, and a chicken. And that is so beautiful. Look at how adorable that top is. And he has got such a weight to him, this boy. And we're going to comb this hair. His hair was rooted by Lazara Brito. She did a beautiful job. And he doesn't ever need any styling. You can just do this. He doesn't need water. And my dog's going crazy. He must see UPS or a neighbor walking or something. Mailman? No, mailman came already, I think. Would it be UPS? So sometimes I'll wet it. And she, she kind of, she obviously directionally rooted it. Because if you see, it can go up and down here and stay nice. So I just follow that, and that's it. Or I bring it down some if I don't want it, like that full swirl up there. So soft. So soft. It's just sometimes so enjoyable to just feel it, and then you can feel like their silicone head underneath, squishy-ish. I love it. She uses the best hair. And it looks like your little fingers are going to be stuck in here. But sometimes I like when the little sleeves are long. I do. So, yeah. So, I've already started doing that with the dolls where I've brought some down. And ones that I haven't held in a while. And it feels good, you know. Because I do miss them. And I'm not, every doll that I did get, though, I, I definitely want. I don't regret I definitely want it, all those looks and all those types of sculpts with, you know. So I hope you guys keep watching because after I upload this one, I will upload the um, kit reveal that we purchased. 
and uh, yeah, so be on the lookout for that, guys. Okay, hope you enjoyed our little changing video with Aiden. And everyone, have a great afternoon, evening, or morning. Bye, everyone.